it going? Pastor I'm, I'm always great. You know, if I were any better, I would be you. I, I that's that's quite high praise. It is. It is the Patrick Sturdivant. You know, it's just Lord how it have is. Mercy. You're going to make me have blush. Mercy. I tell it's you, come through that would, I always wanted to have a girl and name her Kyrie Lays on Hall. Kyrie Lays on is Lord have mercy. So it'd be Lord have mercy. Hall, get back here. It'd be fun. But they're still, they're still alas, late. maybe we'll have another girl. You never know. Never Allison's know. not within earshot. Well, she probably is. But you know, I think I think we're good. So it's fun times. <laughs> we're back with Theron back again uh, this week. Uh, we're going to talk about something that's probably a little touchy. It's, we might get canceled again. Could. Could. It could, could happen. Again. You never know. Pastor Goodman might call us up and be like, yeah. Good. I think Goodman, it's like, it's like you know, you have like the, one of the, the old school Batman had the bat phone. Yep. You know? I think it's kind of like that with him. If I do something, there's a special phone Goodman has. They call me like, hey. He's he just gets the alert. He's at it again. You got to stop this. So, but you know, or am I thinking too much of myself with that? Maybe he doesn't. Who knows? Maybe he doesn't even watch. But no, today we were talking, you and I were talking last week about, you know, you're looking at all this stuff happening, Russia, Ukraine, East, West, mm -hmm. and with the Western church, there's always this association that with capitalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, capitalism versus communism for, yep. from the 40s, oh, before the 40s, I mean, you know, communism, this is the World War One era, even mm -hmm. before then a little bit. Yep. You have it, and so it's, it's an association because... Almost every communist nation is an atheist nation. That capitalist nation equals Christianity. Yep. And that almost, that's yeah. That's kind of almost, an issue. Almost, yeah. Um, and I remember when we were talking last week. I brought up Luther mm -hmm. in the seventh commandment, and Luther says this in in the large catechism. So this is my book of book of Concord, and this is the seventh commandment. Right on, you shall not steal. And what does it mean? Well, we're supposed to help people. We're, we're supposed to not take, not to take their property or the money or possessions or get it in a way that only appears right, but help them uh, to support and collect, uh, protect their possessions and income. That's what you're supposed to do. And Luther says this in it. He says, everyone, so I actually have in my notes here, capitalism question mark. The same fate will overtake those who turn the free public market into a carrion pit and a robber's den. Daily the poor are defrauded. New burdens and high prices are imposed. Hmm. There's like no prices going up right now, so that's not a no, problem. No, no, no. Inflation doesn't happen. Yeah. Everyone mis and this is why I have, everyone misuses the market in his own willful, conceited, arrogant way, as if it were his right and privilege to sell his goods as dearly as he pleases without any word of criticism. We shall stand by and let such persons flee, grab, and hoard. But we shall trust God who takes matters into his own hands. After they have scrimmed and scraped for a long time, he will pronounce this kind of blessing over them. Your grain will spoil in the garner and your beer in the cellar. Your cattle will die in the stall. Yes, where you have cheated and defrauded anyone out of a golden, golden like a dollar type thing, your entire hoard will be consumed by rust so that you will never enjoy it. So, I guess the question is there, you know, is... I mean, capitalism isn't a word Luther knows. Right, so... To, to one of the things that that sticks out to me, and I think this kind of ties into our, our original when we set out to do the podcast, our original kind of idea. We said we weren't going to get political, and on the outset, right. this seems like a very political topic, right? Um, but Luther says like both sides do it, right? And so, and and to me, that's it's not a political issue. Then both sides do it. Both sides are. Are guilty of it, right? Um, we're we're talking more along the lines of actual down to the roots, non political. What? Um, what? What this is? Yeah. And this is um, one of the best parts, also, to know Luther on things is looking at his hymns. Mm -hmm. And his hymns, he 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 condenses it down, and you have him five eighty one in LSB, which is uh, these are the holy ten commands, the ten mm -hmm. commandments. Him, and he says this: You shall not steal or take away what others work for night and day, but open wide a generous hand and help the poor in the land. Have mercy, Lord. Mm -hmm. Now you can make the statement, well, pff, com and this is the thing, we're not comparing here communism to capitalism. Like, we don't like capitalism, therefore communism is the That's answer. the uh, ultimate Like That's what, right? anytime you critique it, and, and you remember what Luther says, with no criticism. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing is, 
it's always the thing of, well, if, if someone has a lot of money, then it's their right, their privilege, their freedom to just use it, distribute it however mm -hmm. they want. And there's things like private property and things like this. The question is, and that's fine if the world wants to act that way, but are we as Christians called to be that way? Mm -hmm. Or are we called to whatever gifts given to us by God? We don't earn it. God gifts, gives it, it to us. Yep. Our job is to then be generous in gifting it to our neighbor. Mm -hmm. so that's the the hard part is when you look at like the scriptures examples of money like the rich young man you know i want to follow you and jesus he says i've kept all these commandments and jesus says well there's one more thing you must do sell everything, everything. you have and follow me what does he do he walks away because he had much wealth mm -hmm. he had a lot of possessions so the question is and i guess this is what we're addressing a little bit today is we fall into the pit like i said earlier western christianity equals capitalism Mm -hmm. That's what you do. This is what we have. <clears throat> and maybe that's not the best thing to do right away. Maybe we shouldn't have such ties because pe some people will go to the death to fight for capitalism because it's in opposition to communism. Not, is this helping the, the new man? This way of the market. This way of okay. being. Does this help you as a Christian? Right. Or does it discourage your generosity? And instead, encourage your concupiscence, right? Those wicked inclinations, mm -hmm. which are to spend your money on what you want. Yep. I preached on it this past Sunday is entitlement. We're not entitled to anything. It's all gift from God. But we act a lot of the time like, I earned it. I can do what I want. Yeah, I, I pulled myself up by my bootstraps. Right. And to earn this and, yeah. And it's like, well, no, no, you didn't. And look at how Luther says it. He critiques it. So it's not like Luther is here saying, oh, well, Luther's a socialist. No, that is not what we're saying today. What we're saying is stop labeling yourself one or the other. Mm -hmm. Stop making that the primary label is free market capitalist type or communist. Yeah. This is how it is. No, what you are is someone who has been freed from that. Yep. And I think going towards that is like lately, um, I mean, we're, we're both on the TikTok yeah, and a big push in uh, on the theo the theology side of TikTok is pointing out that well Jesus was a socialist. Yeah, and and those arguments, etc. But ultimately, we're not saying either way. We're saying that you're whether you believe in capitalism or communism, that doesn't define you as a Christian. No, and it never should. No, and that's that's the the hard part is we'll probably do one on communism in the next couple of weeks. Um, when you look at anything, whatever you do, whatever money given to you, like Lou says, you don't store it up. What does it say in Matthew 6? Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Mm -hmm. And if it's in all this stuff while here below, it yep. turns to rust. It yep. Moths eat it. Look at the guy who keeps storing up in barns. He dies and he can't take it with him. Yep. That's the reality. But what do you take with you? You. You go unto eternity. And the impact you've made right on everything around you yeah so everything you do so the thing is if and then people come back well it's your choice to use your money that way then no i don't have a choice mm -hmm. i have a command from my god to care for my neighbor period right. i, I you, you don't get to just drive by homeless people and say man i don't feel like doing anything for them exactly you should feel terrible when you don't help the homeless mm -hmm. because they, they you what does it say in the text you never know when you're entertaining the angels you know mm -hmm. that reality um so it's not give money to a central group and they'll distribute it how they want. But even look at Acts, that happens. They sold, sold all they have mm -hmm. and they all live together. And it's like, well, that's creepy. We wouldn't do that today. Yeah, because we're more driven by Western thought. And the problem is if you start talking to your parents about this, they're going to be like, why? Are, this is a communist way. No, what we're saying is get into the confessions and realize, like you mentioned earlier, this isn't how you're defined. This isn't exactly. your ultimate definition. Your ultimate definition is your baptism. Yep, baptized in Christ. That's it. Yep. You're a forgiven child of God. And everything you do flows from that identity. So, it's yep. fun times, Every right? cent you earn, every cent you tithe. Yeah. So the question is, is capitalism a sin? Yes, it is. <laughs> because, because anything outside of faith is sin. And that's the thing is you can't... And I've heard people argue biblically, from the Bible, this is the way you should do things, is capitalism. I'm like, that's not proper. That's, yeah, that's not a, right. That's a very um, shady. shady bridge to walk on. Yeah. The Bible is not meant to be used as a proof text for your worldly agenda. 
Right. The scriptures work on you and transform you into an eternal being in Christ. That's what they're there for. And, you know, that that's the, the big beef I've always had. But every time I've critiqued, use this, I get a lot of kickback. Because it's like, well, no, that's those are the mean atheists. We're the good capitalists who love going to church. Maybe I'll turn off the comments. Who knows? Yeah, that'd be fun. I don't know. See we'll what see. happens. Yeah, we'll see what know. happens. Well, I always wonder why we don't. Yeah, don't get a ton. Like, but it, it's interesting with it. I guess I can go on all day just mumbling about this, but it is just very. <sighs> I find it intriguing that people will die for a. A a market, theory, a, a way of mm-hmm. doing, uh, of having money in society. And not for the word of God. <laughs> right. You know? So yeah. Well, because how often does the, the does the word of God build build you a mansion on it does to Mesa, California? It doesn't. You know I mean? It doesn't, uh, right? Yeah. You know, and um and that's the reality. You give to your neighbor. We're all beggars, this is true. That's Luther talking about right. how you are before God, but it's kinda how we are with each other too. Look at look at Katie Luther. She died a pauper. She died poor. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, it's not like Luther died an extravagant right. death in a grand palace. He died in uh Eisleben, actually, his hometown is where he died in a in a little room. Yep. I mean that's the reality is you're not meant for great, stupendous things in this life. In fact, we're called to suffer in this valley of sorrow as we're ushered unto heaven. That's where you get the mansion. That's where you get the great room prepared. So while you're here, Give, 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 and leave nothing left over so your neighbor can benefit and have the same love you have in Christ. Amen. Fun times, man. Yeah. There we go. All right, that is this week's episode. Uh, hopefully, we'll be back uh, next week. You never know. Um, someone might hate us in the comments. Yeah, board of directors may get higher things. Yeah. Sturgeon Becker's like, no. He wore blue jeans during the thing again, and he bashed capitalism. I don't want him. <laughs> We'll see you next week. We have a couple of fun episodes coming up. Uh, Check us out. uh, Watch our YouTube. Check out our past episodes. Uh, Check out Higher Things on higherthings.org. We'll see you later. Adios. Au revoir. Look at you, man.